friends. Welcome to the Honey and Harry Show. We're starting all over with all this. I have a really special guest today. It's Scott Burst. Um, he has been riding on Endymion since 1989. Um, how long? That's what? 35, 35 years. 35 years he's been riding. Um, so he came to, you know, talked with it's our Mardi Gras. I'm sorry. I'm a little, we've had some difficulty tonight. Sorry. But he had, we've been having our Mardi Gras shows. We had Mamu last week. We had Baton Rouge a couple of weeks ago. So the big boy is tonight. Um, okay. So anyways, um, Scott, welcome to the show. Glad to, glad, to be here. glad to be here. Yeah, so I'm so excited that you came. This is like, all I can say is yes. Yvette and Scott are like Lindsay's other parents. Y'all were like her college parents. I knew Yvette, like, I was, I had other kids. I would, I just, just be her mom right now. Right. <laughs> Please. And Yvette's in the studio right now to just kind of help us if we forget something or anything like that. But... Anyways, I went to my first Endymion ball with them. It was 2020, and it was in the convention center. It's not normally in the convention center. No. And that year, the parade stopped early. We didn't get to see the whole thing, and then the world completely shut down. Um, during that time, my daughter got cancer. It was just like one bad thing, one bad thing after another. So the way we kind of celebrated, they invited us again, but we got to go to the Superdome. And I remember Yvette telling me, you know, the convention center was great, but wait till you get to the Superdome. It's amazing. It's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I was like, how can it be any better than this? Because it was so amazing. Well, it was. It was better. And we we got to celebrate. It was great. We had the best time. Um, but anyway, so just this is the biggest party, I would say, Dad, wouldn't you say this is the biggest party, the biggest probably ball around, I want to say? Probably the best ball. How about this? I've been to a lot of balls. This is the best ball. To, and from my experience, it's been the best. So anyway, so can you give us some history about Endymion? Like I looked it up and I said I uh, saw that it started in 1967. And my mom actually marched in Endymion that first year. And I think she said 13 miles. Well, it right? was a long route. I it was that. a long From the lake to uptown. I, yeah, so I know that she said her dad actually had to carry her after the parade was over because it was so long back oh, wow. then. I know, I know. You weren't in that one. No. I know. So anyway, so can I know like in the nineteen like in nineteen seventy four they started having like super like super cruise. Am I saying that right? right. Um super cruise. Super cruise. So there's like more floats, celebrities, the whole nine yards, right. and there's three super crews, I think I had read that or there, but I think Endymion's the biggest. Um, so, what, so when you started to ride, how was that? So, give us kind of like a little bit of a background. Well, when I first, when I was growing up, uh -huh. I used to go to DC Boulevard in New Orleans because that's where Endymion started, and they would go down Gentilly Boulevard to like Canal, to, oh, wow. to Broad, to Broad Street, then Broad to Canal, Canal into like the Rivergate. Uh -huh. And you know, as it as it evolved and got bigger, they moved it out to City Park Avenue by Delgado. And I mean, since I've been riding, that's where it's been since it's been 1989. Mid city kind of mid -city, area, right. okay, mid city right. area. And you, it starts in front of Delgado and goes down like Orleans Avenue to to Carrollton, Carrollton to Canal, Canal to St. Charles, around Lee, around Harmony Circle. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Around around Harmony Circle, and um, and then it goes back into the Superdome, you know, from there. Yes. But over the last couple of years, there's been issues with fixing the Superdome up for the you know, Super Bowl and stuff like that. So we had to convert over to the convention center. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, definitely. Um, fixing up things in the Superdome and all that, the Mercedes Superdome. But next year in 2025, we'll be back in the Superdome. Ooh, well, maybe yes. maybe we'll have to come, yes. right? <laughs> maybe y'all can hook me up again. Yes. That was so fun. No, I'm teasing. No pressure. Um, anyway, so I want to tell people, I don't think people understand, and um, Dad, maybe you can put up some pictures. I, I don't know which pictures we want to put up yet, but some pictures of... Like, I know the floats are unreal, and that's what people don't get. Because, like, you know, you have a parade, and it's just like, these floats are huge. I know there's one, the Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain Beach, yeah. Pontchartrain Beach. Now, that thing is huge. You were telling well, it's me. Nine, it's nine floats. Look, it's like 330. It it's 330 feet long, so it's as long as a football field, and it's nine floats. Oh, my combined. gosh. And it's the old Pontchartrain Beach. You know, the themes of Pontchartrain Beach, like the, the clown and the— you know, all, the Zephyr and all the other different yeah. to remember Punch Train Beach by. So this is my video work. 
And uh, I'm just trying not to get hit in the head. But because uh, they look, that's the other thing about this parade. These people spend some money on their throws. Um, I know when my daughter came back, I mean, you can show that. I mean, they throw nice quality stuff uh it's it's not little i mean like look at this cup i mean that's one of the i mean you can catch that at a parade and use it all the time and um but look at this look at these i mean look at this float it's amazing so you were telling me too that like back a long time ago you could smell what was it cotton candy well, the first couple of years the punch train beach came out they had where the smoke would come out of the of the the beginning of the of the Whatever float it was, the first or second float, where it would smell like cotton candy and buttered popcorn to That's remind you of, of Punch Train Beach and, you know, having popcorn. and Yeah, because I'm was i I'm looking at it, it's 250 riders, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Non, is, nine floats, you know. That's cr that's crazy. That is yep. so crazy. So I know I did. I do have some. I want to um, I want to show people some pictures of the extravaganza, Dad. Like, we have some pictures that we took. And I know... Um, Maybe we should start. Maybe, Dad, I shouldn't start there. Maybe I should start with when Bethany was little. We have some pictures of you. This is how long ago you were riding. Look how sweet. So, <laughs> oh my God, they didn't even look, look like at me. Those. Were... So, the one right there with him with the crazy hat, that's when he was in charge of all of our college girls. <laughs> I think Lindsay took that one. But that's, that's the one how... on the left. I don't even remember the one on the uh, left. I know. This one? Uh, yeah. The exit sign? So, that's when we, that's when they all came. And it was at the convention center oh. that year too. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is um, so that's his daughter, and that's how long he's been riding on the parade. I guess like when y'all go put the beads on the parade. I mean, in the float, so she went with him. Oh, that's actually the parade. That's actually the parade. Oh wow! Actually, she was born in December, go. and that parade was either in February. The one on the right was either in February or March. So she was only three months old on, <laughs> in my hands on the float. That's what I love about my New Orleans people. I mean, you go to New Orleans and you go to these parades and you see babies just like sleeping, like, you know, six months old, just sound asleep in their little ladder, you know? <laughs> but you, I can't, love it. you can't do that anymore with the uh, putting people on, you know, bringing, you can't even get close to the floats and they barricade oh, up because no. just for insurance purposes and stuff, you know, and all. But yeah. Yes, I mean, she. She did that for the longest time. We used to go to open house, and she would get on the floats at open house and stuff like that too. You know, just oh, to, I love yeah. that. So we're gonna move forward a little time, and um, she ended up being queen, right? Yes. How old? Look at this. Like, and, and now is that your dad? Yes, that's my. That's dad. your dad, and yeah, his dad has passed, but that's his dad with he. I know he just adored Bethany. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Um, look how beautiful. Well, that my dad is. really didn't like Mardi Gras, but the only reason he rode on the float was because of her. I love that. In yeah. I love that was in two thousand and eight. Yes. I mean, here's the other thing, guys. Look at that headpiece. Look at that. Okay, I don't think you understand. Like I always was like, oh my gosh, I was always like, I would love, love, love to be queen. I would love to do all that. But like, do you understand? Like that is heavy. I know it's hooked up, you know, on top and all that. But still, to stand there. That whole, how long is the parade right now? It's, it's probably like five miles, five Maybe five, miles. okay. Yeah. So it, it's, I mean, that's a rod. That is a long rod to have that on. But uh, yeah, so she was queen. The, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Um, and then I have some more pictures. Just look. That, look at her. That's her mommy vet. And that's that's all them. I, I just, was. did she just love it being queen? I think it was kind of a shock at first when I came home after the 2007 parade and said, hey, I think I'm going to put a, queen, a name in for queen. I wanted to try 2009, but they would put her as a senior in high school. But I did. It. they said, no, they didn't have availability, but they'll do 2008. I'm like, okay. So I went home and told them that, and they're like, okay. So <laughs> and then we just started to basically the process and went on and did it, you know, and then. Oh, look at her, too. That's with her grandparents, her uncle, and I mean, I just I loved it. I mean, that's that's. I wish we would have known, but she was only seventeen, so Lindsay mm -hmm. didn't meet Bethany until college, um, and then they were just inseparable in college and stuff. So, um, but yeah, so that's that's one way I guess some of the women can get in the parade. They only have men riders. Um, there's what three thousand or thirty two hundred. Thirty two hundred. Thirty two hundred. Yes. Riders, and that's kind of like we were talking about Mamu last week. Like in Mamu, the men, you know, that's just tradition. It just is. And, you know, sometimes you got to keep the tradition. Sometimes it needs to change, but, you know. We have 36 floats. A lot of them are ABC floats. Some of them are ABCD floats. Uh -huh. So a lot of them are, do, you know, double double floats. And we have, on my particular float, we have 52 people on our float. Wow. 
And so if, if you have, and we have an ABC float, so between all three floats, we have like probably 150 people. And you were what on your float? You're the what is I'm it? I'm the senior. I'm the senior float lieutenant. Senior float. Lo- so what is? What do you have to do with that? Really, it's just a title. If anything, if anybody <laughs> messes up on a float, gets drunk, <laughs> acts stupid or something, then then you the one. They come after you and they call you in a meeting with that person and you have to. Yeah. You know, just whatever. But that's very rare. I yeah. Mean, yeah. No. You know what? It's just the thing is like the excite. I'm gonna tell you from my perspective because I'm not riding. It is like. Even when I was on the street, like when we're on the streets and stuff. And I don't know if I have any pictures of being on the street, Dad. Do I have any of those? Like, we'd be on the street like that. So that's where, I don't know if you know, that's, remember when it was passing right there in front of the courtyard, Marriott, right there on, yes, on St. Charles. Charles Street. St. Charles Street. So we did that for a couple of years. We'd get rooms there. But let me, and look, look at the babies up there. Like, we're waiting. And we're out there. We are committed to see this parade because the, the I mean, look at little Carter, how little he is. It was, look, just the lights. It's just beautiful. It's something you can't describe. It's beautiful to see it at night on like outside waiting for that parade to come. And then the amount of beads, all the throws. It's so cool. Well, now all floats have LED lighting. So, it, it, I mean, you can And they imagine. move some of them, right? right. Some of them well, move. Well, this year there's going to be about five or six of them that are going to move, you know, animation wise and stuff. Yes. Yeah, that is so crazy. So I got, you know, that's when we would go. Um, and it's, I don't know, is. I don't, is it back on St. Charles this year or not? Yes, well, we have an extent. We have an extended route this year. They actually, we're still going back in the convention center, but we going mid, we going the mid city route where we start out at Orleans, go to Carrollton Avenue, go down Canal to Loyola. We'll mm-hmm. take a right on Loyola. We'll go around the circle to St. Charles, uh, to Canal, and then from Canal we'll go up to Chapatulas and go down Chapatulas into the convention center. Oh wow! So. Uh, there's some more floats. I want, I want everybody to see the ball. I want to see, like, when they when we go in. I know that, like, they have these people, and they carry these endymion signs, and they have people on stilts that walk in. It's almost like, look, I took some video. Those are my personal. And they're not great, but they're my videos that I took when I went. I mean, this is the Superdome where football games are played, right? Mm-hmm. This, <laughs> it doesn't even look like there would be a football game. But look at this. It's amazing. I mean, it is just something, like, if you haven't been, you should go online. I don't know, wherever you live, you should definitely come and go to this parade. This this is just, I, I can't say enough about how much fun it is. I know when I went, um, oh, yeah, this is E.T. Uh, this is the um, E.T. E, this yeah, is like the really Endymion you. TV. And this is one of my favorites because <laughs> I know that's so stupid, but I love it because you can see yourself and you're like, "Woo, look, you know, it's all so much fun. And that's what people don't understand. Like Mardi Gras is just such a, a fun time. And this is, I think Endymion is, are y'all the biggest parade? I know Bacchus is big, but. Yes, we, we have the most members, yes. Y'all have the most members and do, and I feel like y'all's floats are the biggest. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. So they are the biggest. It's, I mean, Bacchus and Obvious are the other two super crews and they have floats yeah. also, but nothing yeah. like. And they're I mean, great parades too. Yes. I mean, you can't lose at any of these parades, but this is, I always say this is the big boy. See, that was us. See it coming down? Um, that was coming down St. Charles Street. But look at all the people. And look, and here, I'm going to give Louisiana a shout out real quick because I think we always get a bad rap mm-hmm. living in Louisiana. What other state or what other place do you know? where they have all these people that come in from Mardi Gras, and I don't even know how many people that is, and come in from all over the world, and we really don't have that much. I mean, we have some trouble, but nothing. You would think it would be more trouble. Yeah, you don't hear that much. No, you don't really have that much trouble. People are genuinely having a good time. They People are having fun, and you know, people are giving each other beads when they catch beads. But, yeah, look, I mean, you don't want to miss seeing that. You definitely don't want to miss seeing that. So, um, oh, yeah, so when we went, so I'm going to talk about this one up here. So that that's you down there. Yeah. You see oh, me? is it? Okay. <laughs> no, that is you. That is you. We're all, right, yeah, see, yeah. So we're sure all is. in the Superdome just waiting for you to come in and, and throw us beads because we know he's going to throw us a ton of beads. But you can see in this picture in the back that um, the, the bands, and that's the other thing. You want to talk about some of the bands that come in? It's just these kids they, these bands are great. Do you mean like the ones that play at the extravaganza? No, I'm talking about marching bands. Marching bands. The, oh, we uh, have them from all over. We have them from all over Alabama, Florida, really? Tennessee, Georgia. Yeah, they 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 just find schools that you know, the big bands and have it. And I mean, they 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 can rock, they rock. I mean, they, they do. Look, they, I'm telling they, you. I'll keep this one up for a little while. Oh, Dad, go back right, real right. quick. I know. Right. 
I want to. I'm not finished, but look, they do rock. We're gonna have to. So I took this picture when we went. That girl right there. That was the Elsa. The Elsa girl that was in the big thing. But when the night we went to the extravaganza, all my dreams came true because Diana Ross was there. And I, this is my old bedroom that we're in, by the way. And <laughs> and the door had a mirror. And can I tell you how many times I sung, you know, upside down, you turn to me. <laughs> Doing all the Diana Ross songs and standing in front of the mirror dancing. But, I mean, I think she had, when we were there, what was it, five costume changes? Oh, my gosh. I was, like, all eyes on her. And then we had Maroon 5, right? Mm -hmm. I think that year was Maroon 5. So we had great, great entertainment. Like, we see this fabulous parade. We catch, you catch so many beads that, like, we have to wear tennis shoes because you're basically surfing on beads because there's so many. And then... Like, y'all, tell them something about the throws y'all throw. Like yeah, we, we throw all kind of light-up stuff, you know, big beads. I mean, I have some stuff in here. Like I said, the cups, we throw, we throw like, light-up hats like this. We throw beads, like. Yeah, put on the bead and the hat. Beads like this. Like, they will actually throw this hat. You can turn that hat on, too. Um, but, see. like, who well, wouldn't want to get this? It's got like, this and. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's it don't matter. But look, these beads, and that's just the tip of the iceberg with the beads, okay? Like, you could probably catch something similar to this that's on my head. No lie. These glasses that are on my face, you'll catch these glasses, right, Scott? I mean, y'all, yeah. I mean, the amount of stuff that you have to get for this. It's, I mean, they throw big, these, these big ball beads, they throw, I mean, they throw, I mean, it's, you look at some footballs. Stuffed animals. Any Anything you can imagine, they throw. Up. Yeah, if it lights, yeah, that's what Yvette just said. If it lights up, it throws, yep. yeah, they throw yep. it. And I remember, like, um, Lindsay and them, and I know we have pictures of her and Bethany, full of the big beads. Look at these beads, y'all. Mm -hmm. And, like, the light-up beads and the hat, like, all, everything that you see, they caught at the parade. It's insane. I mean, it's just insane. Um, now, I want to ask, and, I, you know, I don't remember... Do the flambo? Do y'all still have flambo? Um, I think we might. I don't know if they have that or not. Did they? I, mean, I don't remember I don't if we know. had flambo. I don't think they come through. They don't come. They don't come through through the Superdome because it's probably dangerous. I never see them. So I don't know. But you don't know. But yeah, I I, I, I want to say. I think it's very rare now. There's not a lot of crews that have them. There's one know. or two crews that do, but they don't really. They, it's dangerous, but yeah, I mean, of the gas and stuff, you know, so, the, the the kerosene or whatever they use in it and stuff, you know. But so. don't you like look being from New Orleans and like you know, I, you know, always went to parades. That was one of the mm -hmm. things that I always liked watching them mm -hmm. come by and twisting the tuition. It, yeah, they would dance with uh -huh. it. On they yep. had that thing, and that they were saying that thing weighs about seventy pounds. Yeah, no, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, and people, you know, and then and then the tradition is to give people money that are right. carrying those. It's such a great. I mean, it's the kerosene that's in all four cans. You know, you have to, I think there's four or five cans, and you have to, you know, carry it with that. That's pretty heavy. That is heavy. Yeah. All right, Dad, so I want to show some. Oh, look, there we are. Okay, so one year, my cousin, Ro, there's Yvette. That's um, so that's Scott's more wife. Lighted, that's more lighted beads there. Yeah, there and this is before, this is just before we even, the parade starts, that they're so generous. They have beads for whoever comes. Y'all are giving us beads. Y'all are giving us cups. Okay. Food, every everybody. I mean, just I mean, and look at look at Nani. I mean, she looks like she's twenty. She's I mean, 81. I'm eighty one years old. Scott's mom, and I mean, never never did any work or anything. Just mm -hmm. looks great. I mean, we all want to be Nani when we get. I want to be Nani now. But <laughs> and they all got their light up shoes on. Oh, too, we huh? got our light up tennis shoes. But you know, I think. Um, like I, I know when we went back to the hotel room that night, I was like, "Yeah, they're done for. We're not going to be wearing these again." They mine were pretty much really. Yeah, they were pretty much wow. destroyed. Um, but anyway, so that's that's um, and that's my cousin. He rode one year. Um, that's right. You sure did. I remember that. Remember that? Yep. And I think he was a fill-in rider for somebody. Right. Whatever they do, because uh, somebody couldn't. Something happened, and so he he got to. A sub rider, so he got to ride, and um, that was really cool. So, Dad, show some of the videos. Um, oh, yeah, the dancers. So, I was videoing, and these are the bands, these are these bands that come in. And I mean, these girls look at and they walk this whole parade. Mm -hmm. and Tell them, Scott, y'all are y'all are riding, but they're really doing the yes. like tons of work. I mean, it's amazing. What I mean, they we have do. 36 floats, 
And there's usually a band behind every float. Every float, yeah. Except for maybe the last one, but there's a band in between floats, you know, just because, you mm -hmm. know, to break it up a little bit with the, but, but I mean, it's still, I mean, it's still incredible, the bands that they have. I mean, it's some of these, you know, colleges from, like I said, up north that come down and they've never experienced anything like that before. And some of, some of the parades, they're not really allowed to wear. They want, they don't want them to wear beads. They can get the beads, but they won't let them wear the beads oh, while really? they're parading. Why? Yeah. I don't know, but some of them, they do that, but they get, they come by the floats and we hand them beads and they give it to their, whoever it might be, or put it in their bag. You know, yeah. the, the stuff that's following them just so they could have some beads to remember. Yeah, to absolutely. Remember I mean, my gosh, they just, they deserve them. Absolutely. And look, when you're on the street and, you know, these kids are dancing and they're, these bands are going, I mean, there's beads everywhere. So they're having to make sure they're not fall. I mean, these kids that come and do this, I mean, they, and I always say the band never gets enough, and I'm going to say it, the football team's always getting the credit, right? Right. But. Have you ever been to a football game without the band? How terrible would that be? Right. So the band is it, you know? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, they're it. it. And these kids, to, to be able to play music, walk, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just, and then they do formations. Sometimes they'll stop and, like, do a whole thing. Well, they usually have Southern, yeah. Southern usually. Play, Southern, oh, yeah, they're so good. They play in St. Aug, which is a big band out of New Orleans High School band. Yeah. They, they normally play, you know, an endymion and stuff. I mean, they're 100 strong, so, yeah. you know, so, I mean, they pretty... They're great. So I have some more videos of the floats. So these are just short little clips I took that I could. Um, so are, that's where is that the captain and co-captain or not? What is that? That's the um, that's the that's the captain, and then there's a float behind it called I think the uh, Captain Eddie, which is like the uh, SS Endymion. Yeah, you know, I, it's called Captain Eddie SS Endymion. Okay, because yeah, because I know um, I was trying to video, but you know I had kids around me being crazy so um and then i have an i have a, i have some more videos um that's another one which what, what what's the name of this flag is that your flag i don't i don't know that might be the name of my, that was my flow that was your flag it's probably why I'm i was first, i'm the first person right there okay that's why i was videoing i oh, see there yes. you go there you go throw yes. it. and know what this is why i couldn't keep yes. uh, there you go there see you <laughs> that's why i quit videoing i was getting nailed in the head <laughs> yes yeah, and the kids love, they love this. They, It's like, I can't tell you how much fun. I mean, look at all, look. It's just crazy to see. Um, and then, is this the, I don't know which one. Is that the, um, is that the pot the theme? The, yeah, it might be the one that has the theme on it, like, that has the little ticker tape thing. So, I, I read somewhere where, what was it? They're doing um, the Club Endymion Tribute. Of the Superdome, is that is that right? Yeah, that, that was that 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 probably could have been it. I mean, that, that could have been that, it. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. And now I know my cousin. I have my cousin who rode on one too, and that one was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, this one's going to have sound too. And so excuse we, we, my voice. We left the sound off of most of them because it can get real loud. But yeah. here's this one has some sound. We just to want y'all to get like what's really going yeah, on. Yeah, what's yeah. really going on? Yeah, and just ignore my voice. So we know, it kind of stopped right there. And Scott, that happens a lot. Okay, so that's your event. So that's in their toasting, usually. Um, when they stop here, it's because they're waiting for another floor to head on the road and get out of there and bring another one in. Now look at this float rocking. This is what, look how much fun. And now that music's playing the whole time. I mean, look how, I mean, look at Peanut. She, <laughs> look, live, look, these kids are living their best life. And and you're just trying not to get demolished because those beads when they come down they hurt can i tell you so i don't even know oh yeah my cousin's up there they're he's, they're throwing they're just getting crazy so now you get to see kind of the, the atmosphere which is really cool to see it kind of gets you ready for mardi gras aren't you just so ready i oh, know i'm so ready <laughs> I'm not going, but I'm ready. I'm ready for Mardi Gras. Yeah. It's so much fun. Um, but anyways, is there anything that you can think of that I just I haven't really mentioned or said? Is there any pictures that I forgot to bring up, Dad? I uh, think I might have. have uh, this picture. Wait, no, we, brought, we already okay, did that one. Here's another one. Yeah, look. 
is that so is that a grandbaby? That's Rowan. That's Rowan. That's oh, my oldest God. grandson, Rowan. Okay. Two weeks old. I actually cool. we had a group. We had a van we rented with a group of guys, and I made the van bring us over here so I could see him. Oh. Because that was February. That was just literally like, I probably it was probably he's probably two or three weeks old there probably. And then I see that's Bethany and look at Lindsay on the ground oh, over there oh, after. She's, good <laughs> she's probably you. Yeah, huh? probably, you're probably right. <laughs> Her, her other father, right? You know? <laughs> but, that's, but that's inside. That's, that's inside the extravaganza. So I know, I know. It's so much fun. Oh, look at these! And so that's your son-in-law, right? Yes, yes that's yeah. me and my son-in-law. Yeah. So me he Chris, yeah. he rode for a couple years too, right? Yes. So he rode, and then started, and that's the vet and I up there at the top. And look, that's Lindsay and Bethany. They get like it's the game on face. They get. <laughs> Then that's me and all the picture. Yeah, that's you and uh, you and um. Uh, and Chris. Chris. Chris, yeah. Yeah. So this is like all the different. Like these are all the. the so I got some really cool ones of you, and that's the year Chris rode, mm -hmm. and now we all got pictures together. That's an old one. Yeah. That's Uncle that's, one's old. Oh, yes. that's a very old one. Um, mm -hmm. and look at Lindsay and Bethany down there in the corner. They are too cute. But this just kind of gives you a little idea of kind of what's going on. Everybody's having so much fun. Um. We can't wait to see the riders when they get. We, we get so excited to see when they come off the float. Um, but is there? I just don't know if I, I. Do you have any questions, Dad? I don't know if I forgot anything. Well, you know, I'm not really a parade guy. And, He's uh, not. Oh wait, the one thing I do want to say. Going. He does need to start going. <laughs> so wait, I must. I want to say this one thing. This year, who are the guests? Like Who's the, playing the, the extravaganza? Yeah. Uh huh. Sting and Flo Rida. Oh my gosh! I know. I told. I told Yvette. I was like. Really, Flow Rider, Apple Bottom Jeans. Like, I'm really missing that. <laughs> She's like, you said. But then we have the other ones that play. Um, I said, the Mixed Nuts play, right? right. During, like, when like when the parades are going through, like the, the floats. And then, um, who else? Groovy Seven. Groovy Seven. And then uh, Wise Guys. Now, Dad, was Uncle Jerry in Wise Guys? Yes, he was. In fact, the year we went to the Endymion Extravaganza, uh, the Wise Guys were playing a course, and he was in the band that night. Yeah, my uncle, he um he was so talented. Um he was just a, my mom's family is very and my dad. My Trombone dad's a player. Yeah. Well, for anybody that wants to know the extravaganza, basically after we do our parade route, we go into a big it's a big indoor party where it's formal attire except for the, the people that ride. And it's just a big party. They have music playing the whole time during the thing, and then they have bigger entertainment that comes in once the members all get in and ride, mm -hmm. finish riding, and they get to their seats. Then the you know, big entertainment comes. We've had Pitbull play. We've had, you know, at the Superdome, we had Lionel Richie, Rod oh, Stewart. Wow. You know, I mean, the tickets are less than $300, and you get a full parade of 36 floats. It's really like 100 floats because each float's either double or triple float. Oh, wow, yeah. And then you have a free, basically, concert. And, I mean, it's the world's largest indoor party inside the Superdome. It's around 22,000 people. Wow. It's 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 insane. Like, it I... Insane. It's insane. Like, I remember y'all talking about it, and it was just like, Lindsay was like, Mom, we have to do this. And, like, it's it really is. It's the best. And I've been to I've been to other balls, and it's sad when you go to y'all. We go to Endymion now that, like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to that other one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I, I mean, no, but it's just you can't com you can't even explain it, can you? No, it's just, it's, it's, it's. And me, I've been riding 35 years, and when you finish the route and you get ready to go into the Superdome and you just go in and being, I'm the first person, and you're sitting there, and you're standing there, and you just see all these lights blinking, uh, the stuff people wearing and, you know, drink, having blink, whatever, in their hair, clothes, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's like, it's the wow factor. You know, it is it, the it, wow it, factor. It, it is. It gets you hooked. And I mean, 35 years later, I'm still here doing it, you know? <laughs> I mean, so it, it's like it's like you've never experienced that before, you know, and, and it's 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 a one of a kind experience. It really is. No, it real no. I mean, the fireworks even, right? I, it's, I, oh, y'all do that. I, I heard the fireworks. He's never there. Oh, you're I'm not there. there. He's I'm on not the inside. Float. I'm oh, on the float, inside, so yeah. I have no idea. If they, you have uh, no idea. So you now? Yes, I, they do. They do fireworks. Yes. Um, I was like, wait, what? We're getting fireworks now. I'm like, <laughs> right, yeah. And then you see the big floats coming in, uh -huh. but that has got to be the most amazing feeling being on one of those big floats. 
I call them the big boys and oh, just coming is. in and it is just I mean because I'm the first person and you get to look I mean literally you look and you can see the whole Superdome when you're coming in it it's is just like you know the 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 loads the plaza they have people in the loads which is the middle level the plaza which is the you know the bottom and then okay. the floor also you know because oh, it's wow. going so big they're so big i mean there's so many levels right yeah so it doesn't matter where you are that's the other thing i want to tell people you don't have to be front row like i can remember standing when we were at the convention center i was standing way back i was catching all kind of stuff in the mm -hmm. way back because yep. they're so the the floats are so tall and then they got so many rows of people i mean that that's the i have to say some some parades you go to and you don't catch much the riders on the, in this parade are very generous very very generous because you know they buy they buy everything to throw to everyone which is so i mean it's kind it's so unique it's it's so cool but it's uh i mean when i mean little kids come home and i mean their whole day's made you know what i mean to catch all this i mean that's the great thing about mardi gras you can be what poor and go to a parade and just come home with all kind of stuff yep. Bags and bags and bags of stuff. And, and when y'all are on the parade route, I mean, I'm sure y'all are throwing to what little kids and families. We just, we just throw to yeah, whatever. I mean, we we try to throw two people, not at people, because it's but it's yeah. hard. You meet that eye and you get ready to throw to them, and then somebody up top might have something that's better. So they're looking at them <laughs> and they like, and then you accidentally you know hit them with something like that. You, you don't mean to, but no, it's like, no, 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 no. And I don't think anybody gets upset about it. Right. No, no, no. That's the other thing. Like even when we're we're going and they start like. You know, when my, my daughter was young and, you know, they're young and they're so pretty and they're all they're throwing at them and everything. And it's like they're just getting out. And I'm like, oh, my God, stand up higher. We want more bees. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's but like nowadays the it's it's there's more people want bees, but they really they want the bigger bees the like the smaller throw beads. Now they just let them kind of fall on the, 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 fall on the ground. And, and it's just it's not yeah, it's more stuff. it's more for them to. To say, hey, I want to get stuffed animals. I want to get lighted stuff. I want to get, you know, swords, swords uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, footballs, something that's a different item than Mardi Gras beads. You know, I mean, then then the small beads are like the um the feathered axe Indian right. axe yes. thing that the kids love those. I mean, yes. like with the little thing on it. They, I mean, spear. the spear, spear, the spears. I mean, there's, I mean, the, uh, that's what people don't understand the amount of stuff. That y'all throw. I mean, a lot of people, people still throw beads, but a lot of people have gotten away with that and spent a little bit extra money. And instead of throwing bags of beads that might cost as much as one single bead, they'll just throw one single bead because they know that that's not going to hit the ground. And like and you're throwing hats. Around, right. Mm -hmm. These won't hit the ground when I throw these at the parade. Okay. Uh, I guess not. I mean, I, mean, I want to catch one. Right. I mean, absolutely. Even if it doesn't light up, they, it, it, it's still, I mean... It, yeah. Even no, I left. I left the um the bulb both times with hats, and I don't know if they lit up or not. But I left. I right. was like, these are well, mine. That's what I'm these, <laughs> these, the, the, the stuff like this, you know, like this and like the cup, and that's not going to hit the ground. They'll catch, you know, they'll catch those and keep those. And it's just amazing too. Like I, I don't know if you can, like you said, it's LED lights, but like there's certain there's like they're hooked together. Some of them they're so big they're just there's like sections like you were saying. But they do move, right? Some of those, some of the floats move, right? Yeah, some of them do. But the lights, all of our lights move, like blink and do, do all kind of different. You, you know, they do sequences of stuff. Like if it's blue, and then it goes to green, and then goes to purple, uh, whatever, yellow, or whatever, and then it, you know, it, it constantly just goes around. So the lights, the whole time that we have on there, constantly just that's what makes the float, the parade so unique and, and beautiful. Right, right. No, it is, and that's it's really. I mean, that's all I got. I know we were talking about like Mamu last week, and then we we talked about Baton Rouge. But look, I'm going to tell you, like this is this is the big boy. This is the this is the one that like if you, if you haven't seen it, you ha you have to see it. You just have to because it's amazing. And I mean, what what little kid wouldn't want to go out and see this parade? You throw you throw so much stuff. I mean, I mean, I know what he throws when he comes in the Superdome. You know, like. I know you're throwing on the street, you right, know? <laughs> right. No, we throw it the whole time. I mean, literally, I mean, if you don't throw, people are yelling at you like, hey, wait, I mean, because it's that, it's, 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 it's that, you know, I mean, they, they actually for our parade, they'll start camping out on Orleans Avenue where it begins on 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 the on um, City Park Avenue in front of Delgado and on Orleans. 
But for starts, they'll start on a Wednesday or Thursday, either camping out or spray painting the neutral ground with their initials because you can't put stakes up anymore or put ladders because the city will come take those. But they spray paint it. Their spot really with orange spray paint and That's put their what name doing across now. it to, to be able to. And sometimes they have tents out there, yeah, out yeah. There. And, and, and I mean, it's just they have tarps out, they have chairs out, they have somebody that stays out there constantly because they want to have. We you were, know, you know, we were those people years ago. Like, right. We were those people. We were like, I'm gonna tell you, like, know your Mardi Gras etiquette, people. Like, well, like we if, start, we, if we save our spot, like, there's some. Well, I remember one year somebody came up. And I had I had been out there in the rain all day, and we had let, we went we just went to go get something to eat. It was me, and my husband, and it was raining and all that. We come back, and these guys just think that. And I was like, me, my little, I pick up those ladders, and I just start throwing them. I'm like, no, this is not Mark. This is my spot. Right. <laughs> like you want it is like, I mean, you just don't mess around on the street with that because you want to, you want your spot. It's like it's like golden. Well, we've the only parade that actually. Starts in Mid City and goes up like Ar- City Park Avenue to Orleans, yes. to, to Carrollton, to Canal, and then a lot of the parades go on to St. Charles, where we where we go at. They just come from the opposite direction. Yeah. So, really, people look at that that live on Orleans Avenue. They they will have parties planned every year. Like once the parade's over, they'll start planning for the next year because that that is in the businesses there. They make more money in those two or three days before and the day of that. Can you imagine? That it Businesses open for the for the year, really. You know, yeah. the one year we had to cancel because of COVID. Oh yeah. It, it, the businesses were they they they, they were they and the hotels. Yeah. yeah, I know the hotels and you know New Orleans is a city that um, gets a lot of their money and revenue from tourism. Um, well, the they, last weekend, the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then Tuesday is the big weekend for Mardi Gras because you have mm-hmm. you know and that kicks kicks everything off, which really can't duplicate. Then mm-hmm. you got Bacchus, Office, you know, and then you have Mardi Gras Day. Yeah. You know, and stuff. So, I mean, it, it you know, Pete, that, that's when the city and all realizes, hey, you know, we, we have the, that. I mean, those are all great parades yes. to go see, by the way. Because, um, I, I mean, sometimes we go, like, this weekend will be the, like, the two, like, uh, but, but you know what? If you live in New Orleans, there's parades, you know, all the time. They're all good. They're all good. They're all great. Because you ride, Yvette, right? You I ride, used to. I rode, you, I rode. Saturday night in Beside and then Slidell for the very first time. But I used to ride in Nix and then I rode in Cleopatra. But it got to be way too much with him riding. So yeah. Oh, well, I, I mean, I can't off. can't even imagine the expense that well, you not pay. Even the expense, just the, it's the a lot. Physical. Yeah. Yeah. Aspect of it of going from that to what he does. You know. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But um, yeah. So any parade that you go to in New Orleans is going to be it's it's great. It's mm-hmm. nice, but. This is the one that I kind of wanted to talk about because we love y'all so much. We really do. Y'all been just awesome friends. Really good to to Lindsay. I just so pre- we love Bethany. Um, I mean, just love y'all. Um, and we just really loved our experience that we had. And who better to talk about it than somebody's been with the parade for thirty five years? <laughs> hey. And I think somebody mom was asking a question. Why did it start? Did he? She say. Dad, I thought I saw that. Or why did Indivian start as a parade? I have no idea. Uh, I, do you know? I mean, well, the the founder Ed Munez, he was at the racetrack one year, I guess, and saw a horse called Endymion. Oh, and he was in. There was like a Gentilly Carnival Club, I think, that was already formed, and they weren't really parading. And so he went to. From my understanding, is is he went to the racetrack and there was a horse running called Endymion. He goes, oh wow. So he said, I want to start a parade. And we actually rented our floats from like Carrollton and a few of the other parades that were parading already. Okay. Just to, and we rode to like the Kings and the Queens rode in a court rode on the back of convertibles uh-uh. instead of the floats and stuff now and all. And so, so they, he started a parade and he said, Oh, I want to call it an Demi. And actually, one of our throws this year, this year is going to be a horse. Oh, a do you have horse. a picture of that? I think I might. I'm not sure. Look, we're yes. gonna put it up. It's a racehorse. That is an interesting story. I'm glad. I'm glad my mom asked that. That is an interesting story. Um, Let me see if I that's so crazy. Because, that. I mean, really, yes, this is what the horse is gonna look like this year that they're gonna throw. Oh, wait. Like, so, Dad, here I'm gonna give it to Dad, and he'll put it in. Look at the. 
That's I the, want love it. That's one of the throws. Oh my gosh! You're... I'm gonna have to catch that. <laughs> you're have to come to and we also you're throw. Have to come to I, I know. I have another one also that we would be throwing. Dad? We're gonna be throwing uh, t-shirts also. Oh, t-shirts. Which which we a lot of crew started throwing um, t-shirts. And this is what the t-shirt's going to look oh, like. Oh, look, what Dad. The looks like. Oh, I want one. Save me that t-shirt. This is what the t-shirt looks like. <gasps> and all the, flo all the floats. Oh, my goodness. I love that. Know, all floats are going to be throwing those also. Every year we have a different one. Yeah, people don't understand. Like, you can get a shirt. You can get stuffed animals. You it's can the get. It's the freest show on earth. It is. It's the fr it's it is show. a free show. It's the biggest free show on earth. It's amazing. Um, I just, I mean, New Orleans, they need to quit talking bad about it and start, like, talking Let's let's focus on what's good about it, okay? That's because right. I'm tired, sick and tired of hearing them what's bad. Because there's so much good. Um, I've been going to Mardi Gras since I was born, and I'm just gonna say I've never really had an issue. It's been it's been wonderful. We meet all different kinds of people from all over the world, and um, I know when my daughter played soccer, we brought her soccer friends to to Mardi Gras. They enjoyed it. Um, y'all took Lindsay and all, I mean, y'all took all the, the track runners. Um, y'all would take them to the ball. And I mean, really with everything, with the amount of people really, I mean, like you think about the big ball in the Superdome and all that, it's just amazing. It really is. So people visit New Orleans, go out to New Orleans, go to the parade, go see Endymion. Um, you will not be disappointed. I even have my queen of sparkles I bought just for this show. Um, I got to showcase my sh my shirt, Dad. Um, but just for them, because look, it has the it's got the beads and you catch in and all this. I have my light up skirt. I mean, this is what you wouldn't wear this to the ball. You wear this on the street. Um, try to, I'm, I'm you know I'm older, so I'm trying to get a little attention. So I have to dress a little crazy. Well, the ball is <laughs> the extravaganza. They wear tuxedos and formals. Formals. That's right. We're wearing ball gowns. I know we might have some pictures of that. You wear a ball gown. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we did. We had ball gown. <laughs> Um, I look, my Aunt Patricia watches it on TV every year. Okay, so so my mom's family loved the parades, dad's family, not so much. Um, so anyways, but Scott, is there anything else you can add that you can think of um that we do? Oh yeah, I do want to add one more thing. He's not only riding Endymion this year. No. No. Tell him what you're riding. I ride in Zulu. It's Mardi Gras Day. M Mardi Gras Day. So tell him about Zulu real quick. Well, it's a predominantly African, African American parade. Uh huh. They do have, uh, you know, other people in know, it. Yeah. Other, other. That's what's so great because now we're all just, you know, it doesn't matter. I think that's great. And, and I mean, it's just the different. It's during Mardi Gras Day, and they know them for throwing coconuts. They uh -huh. decorate coconuts and throw uh -huh. coconuts, and you know all that. And that's what people scream for and go. You know. Yeah, that's like the big. That's it, a big it, ticket right. item. It's really not be. I mean, you, you have beads, but they have to be the nice beads, you know, yeah. like heavy beads for them to. Even consider it. <laughs> they want anything but a bee. They want coconuts. They want anything that might say Zulu on it, whatever. So. Yeah, because that's such a that's like such a big thing. If you get a Zulu coconut, and it's not a now it's not real coconuts, right? No, they can't throw real coconuts just because. You can I guess kill, with the, you kill somebody. Well, 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 not only that, but but the way it it, it busts open and the uh, I it's guess dangerous. It, it's just, dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous and all that. Right. So he, Scott was telling me too that um you you have if you're on the you decorate your own. Coconuts, yes. oh, right? Correct. Yeah. So, like, then when they get those co there, they actually it's they they decorate them, right? Mm -hmm. Paint and, them with whatever you have to paint. Put glitter if you want to put glitter on it. Do it however you want to do it. You, yeah, you know. I've, and I've been I've been to Zulu before. And it's a wonderful parade. I love that parade. It's so unique. Um, I love that. And then they have um, all kind of entertainment too. And they have the same. They have the bands, they have the dancers, everything. And then Rex runs, I think, um, right, 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 right behind, behind that, them. right yes. behind them. And then then they have, like, the truck parades where all the right. other people can ride. And um, people like me who are not in the um, well, big, big boys. I'm riding with a friend of mine. <laughs> right. he, said, he said it's going to be an experience, so I, I want to experience it. I can't, I can't like. wait. I, I know. It's like with the Zulu because it's different. You know, I'm used to night parades, and this is during the day. The early morning. Like eight eight yes. o'clock in the morning. You know, so, I mean, my day starts at 3.30 in the morning that morning. Oh you know, wow! Because you have to go, you have to go in, eat breakfast. You get your, I gotta get my face painted, and you know all that. And oh my gosh! Get on the float, and, and you know, and then we get get everything ready. I guess to ride, and once we that know, is gonna be look. You have to come back next year, like we do our Mardi Gras show again, and you have to tell us about the Zulu experience. I'm, I mean, I can't, I can't wait because I know it's gonna be. I mean, 
I just love everything, everything about Mardi Gras. It's it's just so much fun. It's like my favorite time of year. All my kids love it. Um, but that that's amazing that you're doing that. And I also want everybody to see too, like all of their costumes light up. I don't know if you noticed that, but like his mask too, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, put your mask on. And the masks light up too. That's the funny, that's the crazy thing at night. Cause like usually when you're um out on the street, it's nighttime by the time we see the um but look, there it is. <laughs> And put your hat on. Put your, put put your, hat so they on. can cut no the other hat. The, the hat for the thing. So is it this was your costume what a couple years ago or last yes. year? A couple years a couple ago. Years a couple ago. years. May I feel like that's the one he had when it we were be. Yeah, when we went. That was the one. Look at that. So that's what all the riders kind of look like. <laughs> it's so cool. So dad, is there anything that you have to add to this? Well, I would say from a person who's not really a parader, I did go to the extravaganza one year. And I recommend that everybody put it on their bucket list. Put it on your bucket Something list. Something you've got to do. You've got to do it. Whether you think you like parades or not, this is just above and beyond anything you've ever experienced. So uh, I recommend it to everybody. Yeah. Uh, That's for somebody that don't go to parades, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Did we miss any pictures, Dad? Or we no, we got every picture and every video. In. Oh, that's so good. Well, I hope, I hope, I mean, I, I hope you, I mean, so, I'm so glad you came. I hope I honored Endymion properly and right. I think I did. Um, yes. Um, but I really am so glad that you came. And I know you, y'all have to drive back to New Orleans tonight. So I really do. I know this was a huge, huge favor to us. Um, so thank you. But um, everybody go, go to Endymion. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Yvette. And yeah, look, thanks, uh, Yvette, for putting in. I mean, she didn't want to come on camera, but she should have. She put right. a, She should have put on a ball gown and oh, came no. out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> next right. week, we have Father Vincent Bressawar on uh, remotely from Alabama. Uh, don't hold that against him. He's going <laughs> to uh, teach us and advise us on how to have the best Lent ever. Because right after Mardi Gras, Comes Lent. Yes. And the thing I want to talk about with that is us Catholics, we're not giving up much on Friday eating that crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Well, expensive as they are oh, now. Oh, I yeah. don't know if we can afford it now. That's the other thing. We're just going to have to go in the pond and put our own little net and get yeah, it. Right. Yeah, no. I yeah. Somebody posted on Facebook, $11 a pound. They picked some up for today. Oh, like, my gosh. Like $11 oh, a pound. Well, look, there's a little, there's a little, girl, one, a little girl Lindsay did gymnastics with. I saw that their kids actually got some crawfish out the pond, and they, like, balled the, the little oh, bit of craw, the crawfish, and they, they ate them. I think they had, like, maybe five or six. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Well, All right, thank everybody. Have a great uh, week, and we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.